Hi guys, this is Rudy Land, calling you from another dimension of time and space. Ooh. Welcome our friend again, Willie Stargell. <laughs> we saw another film tonight. You could say it was out of this world. Ooh. Maybe a little foresty, one could say. <laughs> a little fungi-y, yeah, you could fungi. say. Why don't you tell us what it was? Alright, well, uh... This is um, the uh, long-awaited follow-up from Alex Garland, who directed Ex Machina. There's a lot of people excited to see his Cinema next Cinema Sins just did yeah. Ex Machina. And, uh, you know, I was really excited to see it. It's the story of a, a biologist, played by Natalie Portman, and her husband's been missing. He's been messing for Who's like her a husband year. plays her husband, Oscar Isaac? Isaac. He was Oscar good. Isaac, I yeah. like Oscar Isaac. He was, um, he was usually pretty solid. Yeah, he was solid in the film. He obviously was an ex machina. And, um, you know, he's been gone for a year, so she's going through depression. And basically. He's been, he's you know, been dead. He didn't, like, leave. Well, well it's presumed not been confirmed, dead. Yeah. He's presumed dead he was on a, a mission. Yeah, he was a soldier, like, over in Iraq, possibly spot. Spec Ops or something. It's not really, you know, gone into detail about that, but basically he shows back up. He shows back up and she's pretty surprised by that, you know, she's assumed he's dead. She's, um, in fact, painting uh, their room to try to get over him. Yes. To help to get the grieving process. Yeah, it's a lot to... Uh, I really like on. the way this movie started. I'm going to say that first, just because you got into it. And okay. It sort of didn't... In the beginning, everything had a point. They didn't say something just to show, like, oh, she's fun, or hey, she's a normal girl. Everything had a, had a point, every word of dialogue. Yeah. The dialogue wasn't as sharp throughout, but definitely at the beginning, the action, the dialogue, it got right into it. Mm. You got introduced to Natalie Portman, Yeah. one or two other players who, in the grand scheme of things, weren't really important to the story, except for the husband. Yeah, it's... um. It's harkening back to older filmmaking where it, this movie is takes its time. Yeah. It's not uh, it's not in it's, a rush at all. It's about <laughs> an hour before any real action even kicks in. Like before they even yeah, and get to where the arena is. The mm -hmm. arena of the film you could say. Yeah. And I would definitely tell people uh, do not expect an action film. Uh, the trailers are definitely yeah. trying to push that. It's there more is, of an action There film. is action but it's more like a class, like you said, a classic Hollywood film, like a classic mm -hmm. cinematog, classic uh, cinema. Mm -hmm. It um, there's not a lot of it. It's fast, quick, and not unbelievable. You know, it's yeah. like one uh, scene is her just slowly crouching and shooting at something. Yeah, it's... but it's because there's less of it because it's it makes it maybe a little more meaningful. It gives a little more weight, maybe. Yeah, it's it's not preoccupied with flashy set pieces. It's yeah. uh, that's not uh, what the film is really about. That's uh, one thing I'll get into real quick. One quick detraction. The um, we'll go into it deeper, but this just a broad <coughs> view. The um, I wasn't impressed by the set design. I mean, it mm. looked good. Everything was shot well, but it just for what it was supposed to be, it just looked like they threw a bunch of flowers and stuff together on a wall or on the side of a tree around trees yeah yeah there's uh, the movie had a 40 million budget and um you know some of the cg was pretty good and then some, some of, of it, it was bad not bad but it was, it was mediocre, out of car yeah. with like transformers or something you know like yeah it's not bad cg but you it's notice definitely it. cg you, you notice yeah. it's cg you don't notice it looking good as opposed yeah. to, uh, let's say, the bunny from Peter Rabbit. <laughs> right. It at least looked real fucking good. Yeah, that, um... You know, I I was really, really excited for this movie. Um, it was... Well, we haven't even my... gotten to that. What did you think? Yeah. What did you... Not... Give me your broad, general reaction. I did not like this movie at all. Didn't like it at all? No, not at all. Yeah? Uh, almost from the get-go, I was like... Uh oh. It reminded this me really of a lot of other working. things, but I didn't dislike it really. I thought it was okay. I liked the uh, atmosphere kind man. of. I, I that one um uh, I think she was black and Asian or Hawaiian, maybe. Gina Rodriguez. She, she was, was kind Mexican. of annoying in the beginning. She is she was pretty annoying horrible in, the, in the beginning. Horrible in this movie. Nah. She's so fucking bad. 
Uh, and that that's my biggest problem is... Was her? Or well, the acting? Well, oh, just the acting in general is so fucking awkward. It's I like terrible. The old, did you like? Did you not like the old lady? I thought she was pretty good. Jennifer Jason Leigh. She and, and that's that's. She reminded me problem. a lot of Angela from the fucking Office. Just the way she mm. would speak. Yeah, well, that's uh, one of my biggest problems. Is to me, all the dialogue was so awkward. Mm. I hated the dialogue. I was like, nobody talks like this. Nobody no. fucking talks no. like this. But it's a I, sort of a grand epic. You got to sort of. Mm. Get some philosophy. In yeah, there, but it's you know? it's it was heavy my, handed my, for sure. My biggest definition of this movie is fake deep. Yeah, this movie is trying to be like we are so fucking smart, we are yeah. so deep. This is not a fucking deep movie. This is a stupid fucking. Well, you, movie. Any movie you could say isn't a deep movie. You just you can read whatever you want to anything. Yeah. You know. But I mean, almost all the dialogue, and especially in the beginning of the movie, which I'm surprised you said you liked the beginning, is all exposition dump. It's just fucking constant. That's why I liked dump. it because mostly, usually oh. in the beginning of movies, they like it takes a half hour to introduce the character in a roundabout way. I like that it sort of yeah. got right into it. She was at the, uh, her husband was there, and she was at that weird compound within ten fifteen minutes. Yeah, they they get you to the compounds, but when they're setting up all these characters. I just like I don't like anybody in this movie. It felt like an movie. '80s action movie when they first oh. introduced them. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, like it, like aliens where you're getting to know the group, and yeah. the ship, yeah, and you've got yeah it, th that is actually a a good thing to bring up because it you remember the chicken alien uh, aliens with like the bandana who's like this badass you know the hard chick. she reminded you That's of her exactly you know, that girl was actually originally Jewish and she yeah. thought the movie was about illegal aliens <laughs> yeah. That's, Mexican illegal aliens. Right. Yeah. That. That's exactly the lady. The what other lady who died about. first. She reminded oh, me. She do you remember awful. the lady from Aliens? Yeah. Who was the pilot? Right. Yeah. She looked just like her. It reminded me well, of her too. Did, as soon as you saw her, we were like, "Oh, she's the first to go. She's the first that's gonna die." That's yeah. immediately. She sort of had this oh, airhead. God. As soon as they showed her, she was sort of like, mm, "Yeah, I'm aloof." So basically, all these women are scientists. Well, one of them's a paramedic. One's a psychiatrist. Um, uh, the black girl Natalie, is a physicist. She, the, uh, cutter. Tessa Thompson is a physicist, and Natalie Portman is um, a biologist. And they've sent a lot of military teams into this area called the Shimmer, which has just shown up. And they decide, well, they're going to send these scientists in for for a change. You know, they've sent military. I got in. pumped, man. Worse. I liked the whole idea. It reminded me of. Uh... Right, Event but, Horizon mm, of uh, mm. the Upside Down from uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, the, the, well, the, actually, The Shimmer, to me, kind of reminded me of almost like Stargate. You remember that movie from yeah. the 90s? Yeah, I have it on... Sadly <laughs> enough, Kurt I Russell. have it on Blu-ray. Awful Russell film. And, Don't um, watch it. <laughs> it doesn't hold up. Don't buy it from Walmart on Blu-ray, <laughs> certainly. Yeah, that was the days of like early CG that was like liquid. Yeah. You know, because of Cameron's well, that was, and It wasn't bad, but because yeah. it so wasn't like a creature. It was just a wall. You know yeah. what I mean? And and it was weird because there's no real sound effect when they walk through this shimmer. Yeah. Which I found odd. You know was what like, was also oh, odd? Was weird they didn't me. radio to headquarters or anything before they go in. Well, they're at headquarters, so I'm assuming they no, know they, they're going to go in. Yeah, but you've, yeah, you're right. It's yeah. just one of those minor nitpicks that I noticed that it's not really a big thing. Not yeah. even a thing, but I'm weird. Yeah, so... The, Another of my really, really big problems with this movie yeah, is I hate movies that are told out of sequence for the most part. Yeah. And this movie flashes between, you know, past, future, and then every the current storyline. Bro, every single day, it would go, towards the end of their day, it would be the uh, action that concludes that scene. That happens. Yeah. You don't see him go to sleep. Sometimes you do. It's not really important. Well, Weird yeah. dream sequence. Next scene, wait, disoriented, where am I? What's going on? Well, they allude to time is, like, very bizarre inside the Shimmer. That, you know, you could be in there for a year, you could be in there for a month. But it, so you, you don't, we, but it, it feels yeah. like a couple days, a day or yeah. something. None of them remind of, remember eating, which yeah. is, uh, you know, it's that that's a big clue, actually, when characters say they don't remember eating. Yeah. Because for a very specific character, say they don't eat. We're going to hold off on that. Yeah. We'll 
we're gonna get into spoilers, yeah, but it's yeah. it's one of those movies that I could it's, see it coming, honestly. Yeah. But still, we'll give you a chance to see it or something. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I mean, it's just it's just a bummer for me. It's mm. not. It's not. I mean, you can't. I can't say because well, you were so film. pumped up for it. I had no yeah. expectations. Well, like if I didn't have Movie Pass, this would be one of the first movies I would have gladly paid money for eh. because I really loved his directorial debut, uh, Ex Machina. I thought that was that was a really smart film. And it's very interesting at the very yeah, least. Yeah, it's it's very good. And um, I, I like Alex Garland as a screenwriter. You know, he's also a novelist. You know, he wrote Twenty Eight Days Later. And Sunshine, which is a, a really cool uh, sci-fi movie, and this just, <laughs> just every I could not yeah. get into the well, the rhythm of this movie. The plot made perfect sense to me. Every time they try to go into um, there's the sort of deeper meaning, the subtext of the film. It got really. They would go from one subject to the other. One time they're talking about how God is perfect by definition because he's God or something. You know what I mean? Well, her husband. Her husband says that. Her husband yeah. is religious. She's a scientist, or she's obviously not. So you have that yeah. kind of cliche. De it economy. didn't really get played up too much, though. No, they, they, except for that one scene. Yeah, it's not. More. It's not a. I. I don't want to say it's a preachy film. I, I do feel like there's. An underlining environmental message here that I was when man. I came in I is when I came I in like, at the beginning I said or I thought to myself is this gonna be like the happening at one point right at least yeah. One point. yeah you can make a few comparisons to it in some in certain areas of the film yeah. especially with uh, the fate of one I've character. never seen the happening oh you never have well I am familiar I am familiar yeah with it's it, yeah not good <laughs> That's that's what I figure. But um, yeah, this uh, so so you obviously liked it more than I did, is is what I'm yeah, assuming here. Yeah, I liked I liked the atmosphere. I liked a few cer certain scenes. The uh, chair scene reminded me a lot of the thing. The chair scene. The bear chair scene. Oh, okay, yeah. See, so, yeah. Yeah. The, honestly, mm -hmm. a lot I didn't of this get a movie. Thing from that, but. Well, do you you remember the thing the uh, the scene yeah. where? No, I understand what you're going okay, for, right, but right. I uh, I just yeah. I um, I got reminded of different movies a lot. Like I said, uh, well, uh, what was the one I said? Event Horizon. I really... there was moments where I felt like it was trying to be like Reverse 2001: A Space Odyssey. Man, there was you, towards the, the music, end. Yeah. bro. The music, the. Well, I really it loved was the exactly the, the end. At the beginning, the music was like exactly the same as 2001. Really? I, I didn't notice that. In the beginning... Huh. At the beginning, all I remember was just this horrible acoustic sort of, guitar. That was really that was awkward. Awful. There was one moment, that though, really where it, it sunk up. Sunk. They were walking in the forest, and it synced up with them. I thought it was kind of huh. neat, but the music still is really off-putting for yeah, this kind of movie. That, that's the thing that was really weird. Is there's at the beginning acoustic guitar in a lot of this movie. There's two or three. There's, there's three or four moments where it's hmm. extended. Because there's not really a score. Most of the time, it's silent. Yeah. You know, there's just people walking through uh, the, um, uh, you know, the jungle, or whatever you want to call it. And, you know, you, you were bringing up movies. The biggest movie that I started thinking about towards the end of this was Under the Skin. Yeah. I was like, wow. This... The music, yeah, the music at least. Oh, yeah, I mean, the me finale. Ever. You, I was like... The, the finale was... Oh, man, that was so Under the Skin. The finale went on for too long. It wasn't saying anything new. We could see exactly yeah. what it was doing it, from the beginning. It's, you know what I mean? It lingers on shots for a long we're time. Not gonna, we're not on specifics. We're just... Yeah. Okay, guys, hold yeah. your fucking horses. Right. I didn't say spoilers yet. He didn't no, fucking say spoilers didn't yet. Spoil anything. But the, like I said, the movie does not. You know, it, it takes its time. It sits on shots. It sits on them walking, saying nothing. It's see, I don't mind that. It helps build the atmosphere. Well, I listen. I don't but... mind slower films and movies that take their time, but I just didn't like anything. I, mm -hmm. I don't like the actors. I, I don't like the script. And the script is based on a book. This isn't his original. That's um, what somebody was saying as they're coming out. Yeah, and... People got really offended when we got up to leave because I don't know why. Really? They did? The people in front of us, right next to us, like, um... Here's what happened. Boom. The uh, end title screen credits. 
Right. We wanted to leave. So we get up to leave. The people right next to us, there's, you know, three or four seats next to us. There's right. three, maybe four people. They got to scoot over or just get up. I'm sitting, standing there. They're like, looking like they're making a move and they're just fucking sitting there. Yeah. And uh, the first lady's like, oh, I guess it's no. I guess it's over now. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah the, that's that's why the credits are rolling. Uh, everyone's sitting for the the Marvel after credit sequence. It's not there. Yeah. <laughs> How disgusting uh, is that? He... Yeah, it's, we're all getting brainwashed. Hmm. <laughs> that's kind of what I feel for a little bit. Yeah. That's what I was feeling. Maybe that's what the yeah. subtext might be with this movie. Like we're sort of, but it, there was nothing corporate about it. You know what I mean? Like I was thinking I think maybe it too much credit. <laughs> well, it's just because I um. I love that sort of movie where you have to do the work. You have to read into it. You have to pay attention. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's tough to say. I mean, there is a mystery, but almost right it's off the It's not really, bat, yeah. You can, you, you figure it out. You either figure it out or I, you got a pretty good idea. I am I would be shocked that people would see this movie and be like, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at the end. Uh, it did, um... <laughs> like, it, it, it's obvious. This movie is fucking yeah. plain as day. But the uh, you know? way to get there is not. The uh, transformation is it's pretty unique, I'd say, for movies. Like, the... Not the idea of it, because, like I said, Stranger Things, the, uh... We're gonna... We'll say... Let's... What time are we at here? Let's... Well, I mean, 16... We can, we can talk and say, you know, it's an interesting concept. I'll give it that. You know, the movie. We'll end our, uh... We're not going to end it right now, but we'll end our before spoilers with a recommendation. Yeah. You want me to go first? I'm trying to think <laughs> of if there's anything else. The music that, for a good four or five music segments in a row, it was like it was lifted straight from 2001, man. Yeah, that's weird. I only started liking the movie towards the final sequence, where I was like, ooh, wow, I want to actually... You know, have this uh, some of this ambient noise kind of sound I really liked. It got but, super uh, loud. It just went on. It was very loud, and so did we heard you some like people complain ending? about that. Yeah. Did you like the ending sequence? Uh, no, I, I didn't okay. like this movie at all. <laughs> That's my recommendation. Nothing, no. not at no, all. I, I I wouldn't even recommend people see this at all. Pay money. Okay. Don't even rent it. You're just going to be upset. This is a movie that people are going to be upset when they leave the theater. Um, and, you know, I, I like movies that tackle different concepts, but I, like I said, I think this movie's fake deep. I, it's not deep. Okay. So. It, um, you know, the sort of, the deep, the subtext, the, uh, the, the narrative, it, not the narrative, but it's sort of, it is really all over the place. Not, not all over the place, but they're talking about one thing here, and I'm like, okay, it's not... That, that definitely seems out of place. One of the most yeah. important things I've learned about films, books, music, um, is authors make choices. Something seems out of place. Like, why well, is he saying this? It's, it's, it's in, supposed to mean but, something, you know? Before we go to spoilers, you actually brought up an interesting thing that you felt it was weird. Um, the, uh, the director of the movie, he only read the book once. He said, and instead was that of a creative choice, yes, he decided to adapt uh, the book like a dream instead of rereading the book and yeah. doing a true fit. It felt kind of like that because, like, you remember where I was yeah. saying that, man. They would go, Here's the it was very formulaic at the beginning, and then because it's um, trying to set everything up, yeah. Um, I like the atmosphere, it had a good. I like, I like the atmosphere built. I'm not, I'll be honest with you. I gotta close the window. Sorry, gang. <laughs> the um, score, I like the 2001 score. It's very, but it's it's, it's not, very eerie. It's, it's hardly in the movie though. Nah. It's like you said. When it was you in there, it at I the beginning, it. and there's some at the end, but the rest, there's this really awkward acoustic guitar, and I'm like, why is this in this movie? This yeah. doesn't work at all. It was very, very strange. Yeah. So your uh, your recommendations before we get to spoilers. I would, would say you if that? you lead an exorbitant lifestyle, <laughs> if you got a lot of money to burn, huh? Go ahead and see it. Yeah. I mean, it was good. I'm not doing nothing else. Why not waste two hours in a good atmosphere? It, yeah, I, I really I'm, like it. I, I can if a movie's atmosphere is good, I can basically deal with anything. Well, know? I mean, it, it's smarter than most blockbusters. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I got. I, I guess you can give it credit for that, but I, I, you know, I didn't like it. 
So, I would say give. I'm gonna give it at least another watch. Not in theaters, probably. Wow, really? Oof. I mean, maybe. I got it's basically yeah. free, but. Right. Oh, in the theater, you want to see it again? I might. Wow. Uh, or I There's might just not do it and wait. See. Just because I want to maybe, maybe there's something I missed. Maybe I wasn't paying close enough attention. Or maybe I just didn't see the forest or the trees. Because like you said, Ex Machina is a really smart, yeah. good movie. And it, well, he that's his original script. That's the thing. Yeah. And he he was trying to make that for years. And, um, you know, there were... Uh, <sighs> the second half of one of his movies, Sunshine, reminded me of how this movie kind of goes in a little bit so did you like sunshine i really love the first half of sunshine and uh the second half i'm uh, not the biggest fan of but um yeah so you want to go into spoilers <laughs> all right guys this is the spoiler <laughs> section yeah. before i make a weird noise to signify the beginning of spoiler <laughs> section i want it to be known that for all you listeners that leave because you don't want to be spoiled uh, whatever I said his name was earlier, Willie Stargell wishes Alex Garland dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spoiler time. Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay, so, so give him up. Tell him up. So basically, you, Natalie Portman, has already been into the Shimmer. She's. Well, I hate how they she, they fucking said the Shimmer way too many fucking uh, times at the beginning. Which though. I like the name, the Shimmer. I it's like the cool. name, but it's they ominous. kept saying it. It's yeah, it lose. It. It's like uh, Exorcist too when yeah. they say fucking so, Pazuzu a thousand times. What I'll say is, if you're confused right now, tattoos are an important thing. She has this tattoo on her arm of. It's these, like a figure eight. It's um basically kind of a uh, two rings interlocking like a cell or something, and. Early on in the film, when they're in the Shimmer, and they discover a human that has basically become like fungus and spread throughout this building, you see this uh, body, and it has the same tattoo yeah. that she has. So that she's I didn't been notice, dead. She's dead. I didn't she notice died the, the whole tattoo. Time. Yeah. And basically, she, it's she went on. So I think she was with all of the scientists. She was with her husband. She went into the Shimmer with him yeah. when he went in. She didn't let him go in by himself. And so yeah, but somehow how did she, she came back. How did she go in? Like, it was a military thing. Wouldn't the they, lady who picked know? She just sort of went in rogue by herself. Maybe her husband knew that they needed a scientist, and so he brought up his wife. And I don't know about all that. I well, didn't get it's, that it's, from her. I mean, she she went in the Shimmer. Yeah, she definitely she, went in the Shimmer. And she died in the Shimmer. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with And the end of the film, that. her husband and her, they're the plant fucking things. The god, the plant yeah. gods. They're the plant people, yeah. <laughs> it reminded me at first of an episode of X-Files that was a ripoff of the yeah. thing where a fungus would... It, you know what? Actually, it reminded me of that Goosebumps episode where the guy is making all those plants in his basement and it makes a clone of him. You remember that one? I I just re, I rewatched uh, Body Goosebumps. Snatchers. Don't go in the basement. I think it is called. I haven't seen him in a while because I tried watching. Th one there's once. an episode where you know this this guy's dad is acting really weird and he cuts himself and he's bleeding like green. Yeah. And basically, these plants have made a clone of of the dad and and, and of other people in the family. And it, it's it's kind of like that, you know. These people are turning into these plants. The DNAs are intertwining with animal DNA, and um, yeah. So it's it's there's this, this alien thing, this comet. It was has like hit the Earth. It, and, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and this is this, was it like a hive mind, like it in tune spreading. with everything? You know what I mean. Yeah, like it was all connected as yeah. one being, as one brain kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, it seems like that. Uh, the, all the cells are they're, they're mirroring everything. Like the thing. Yeah, like the thing. Man. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. It does have that element of infecting the host. It made me think of maybe. something else. I can't remember now. It, that's a lot of this movie. It just really reminded me of other things. Um, she was reading uh, a book called like My Life as the Immortal Woman. Yeah, I, I noticed that they kept. 
I hate that when someone's reading a book and it's so obvious. Yeah. Pay attention to this book. It'd be one Pay thing attention to the fucking if book. she's like in the corner just reading while right. somebody else is talking. Or it's Two on people a shelf are talking. Or something. Yeah. But they zoom in right on her, right on yeah. the book. So it's like, all right, you get take a look here. What and, do you think and, of this book, guys? Yeah, and nobody's ever fucking heard of this book. Like I've never yeah. heard of this book. Well, I have the, to they look just it up want it for the title. They, yeah. I mean, you it's, know, they honestly just wanted it. For I, the I guess title. I'll have to check it out. After Did uh, we see now. what he was reading? I don't think they husband? ever showed it. Yeah. No, no, that, okay. I think that was. It just, was out of out of focus or out of the yeah. shot. So, that's that's the thing. It's like I don't know how anyone who's watching this movie wouldn't like be like, oh man, that was confusing. Because even at the end, their eyes are moving. Because yeah. the that's one of the things about the plant and this this alien creature is everything's always moving. You know, if it infects you, your your skin's moving, you know, yeah. your organs inside are all I feel like it wasn't like and... infected as soon as you go into the the this, shimmer. This, this bubble, yeah. This uh yeah, into into the shimmer like mm -hmm. it the atmosphere, everything is it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I got to reverse two thousand one, because mm -hmm. it was like Hal was one enemy, he controlled the ship, so he was sort of their surroundings. Mm -hmm. Shh. She, uh, the shimmer monster alien, <laughs> right? Same thing, the surroundings the themselves were enemy, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's uh, it's weird because I almost feel like it contradicts itself in some ways. Because Oscar Isaac's character, he's basically dying, he's left the shimmer yeah. when she sees him at the beginning. FYI, he never left the shimmer. He never left. He never left. He killed shimmer. himself, man. Yeah, he killed himself with the phosphorus grenade. But I'm saying his clone oh, okay. is is it's dying. Yeah. That that it can't like there's there's something oh, it can't live. Oh, okay, Remember all right. Now I see it. Now I hear you. That's it's, why she wanted to go in so bad. Now I yeah, see the because uh, he's dying. She went in originally, but why didn't they allude to it at all? Right. Because it's the thing is when uh, yeah because he's um. Her husband actually killed himself in the shimmer. He he killed himself with a phosphorus grenade. But did he kill himself? Him did the it was a clone of him? Was the clone of him the green thing? It was the uh, green monster. Uh So was she? What was she telling? Was... was she just telling them what happened just because? Or oh, towards the end, what happened inside the? Yeah. Well, now that the shimmer was destroyed, because she destroys it, she's basically it, it all burns on fire. Yeah. I guess now that the shimmer has been destroyed and there's been an exact replica of what this entity is trying to create, then it won't die outside the shimmer. So now she can kind of you know. exact replica. Oh, yeah, the cells. Yeah, the cells. Okay. Because they're dying when they're outside, even though she wasn't. Which is weird to me. Why do they do that? Like, there's no real... It doesn't make sense. Why is he... Because he's dying. Yeah. <clears throat> but she's not. You know, she's Why just, is like, he dying? perfect. He's... Because he killed himself before he could finish cloning him or something? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Because cause she has become one with the Shimmer. Her real Now body. he's he's given up. He's like... He, he had a phosphorus grenade and he burned himself. Yeah. And the 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 sign of the fire that maybe the 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 copying couldn't fully form because he burned his original copy before maybe. it could finish. Yeah, before it could finish completely copying himself. See, here's the thing: like so. that's like thing like stuff, and it wasn't like trying yeah. to be that kind of movie. It was trying to be like well, know, that, a that's smarter it, movie. If you've seen Sunshine, you, you, it remind because it's it kind of turns into a horror movie in the second half. This does. I thought it was going to go total. Um, I Event this... Horizon. Oh, no. At the moment when Oscar Isaac is... Yeah. They find a video camera. Mm -hmm. And um, on the video camera, Oscar Isaac is... um, He's cutting open some dude's stomach while he's alive. And there's like so a worm crawling moving. around. Yeah. Or his organs moving. Yeah. That's right. You think it's like a snake, but it's really his just large intestine just like spinning around. And vibrating and because of the light yeah. refractions and shit. It's funny because when, when they go into the shimmer, I was like, oh, I... I wonder if this is going to be like Jurassic Park, like the Michael, you know, Crichton novel, because yeah. you see the, the alligator and you start yeah. seeing some of these beasts. Yeah. I got I like, worried it'd be like that, too. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's kind of what the marketing is trying to sell you. It's trying to sell you this action kind that of Jurassic Park That marketing would be like that fucking movie. Will Smith and his son movie, After, After Earth. Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. 
God. Yeah, so. Just. Yeah. I, I just, I don't feel like I need to rewatch it at all. I feel like I've, I got it on the first watch. I like the atmosphere. I'll rewatch it. Just Surprised. maybe, maybe I missed something. Maybe I could put it all together on another viewing. Mm. But it, overall, what? it felt like it was missing something. Missing something. Yeah, well, uh, how did you feel about Natalie Portman as the lead? She, there were some moments where she was a little over the top, a little mm. annoying. That's like the scene with her that she's cheating on her husband is so fucking awful. Yeah. Just rolling my eyes at this this fucking <sighs> guy. And he's saying, oh, I love my wife. And he's basically talking like the audience, like, you hate yourself. Yeah. You hate, you're like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, it's so, that's just stupid screen Stilted. Writing. Very stilted. Yeah, it's, it's, it, that's why I'm surprised that people are saying that, like, this is a smart film. Uh, Paramount, the movie studio... They're uh, they're only releasing this movie in theaters in the United States and China. Everywhere else, this is going direct to Netflix. So they seriously, did, yeah, they did not believe into this. They did not believe in this movie. Wow. Yeah, and this is only on two thousand screens, whereas well, Game Night is on thirty three hundred. Um, you know, it's um, see, it's I I feel like it. They're just if it had something else to it, it would really yeah. put it. Well, I, uh, put it over the top, not over the top, but at least I put just, it as like a really solid, good movie. I, I just, Something to tie it all together. The ending. Let's talk about the ending. It went on. 2001, the ending. It felt like that. But 2001 works because it's showing you new information. We're not seeing the same thing over and over again, you know? Yeah, it... it I mean, the, when you start seeing all these colors and everything, I was like, oh, this, this reminds me of 2001. But then when you see... The, the basically cloning entity, I was like, man, this is exactly yeah. like under like the skin. The, it's the just... personification of yeah. the the shimmer, I guess you could call it. It, it looked exactly like under the skin to me. I mean, when yeah. you see um, Scarlett uh, Johansson get completely burned and under the skin. See, I don't remember the ending. is completely like yeah. the, that being in the shimmer. And I'm pretty sure under the skin. The, thing the book looked, was written way before this. The book. thing kind of looked bad. Oh yeah, it, it, that CG did not look good on that uh, entity. Some of the um, there was some people who were absorbed in their like forms yeah. were becoming plants. Yeah, they the CG'd the becoming, flowers. Yeah, coming out of her body. Not and, only coming out yeah. of her body, they CG'd the flowers on some of the people. Some of the uh, and even some of the forms. trees. Not all the trees have real yeah. flowers on them, and you know, I mean. Listen, like I said, it was a forty million budget. It just looked like, million, but. but still, it just looked like an intern stuck a bunch of plastic, cut up a bunch of plastic flowers and glued them to the side of a tree in rainbow yeah. colors. Yeah, I just, I think there's way better sci-fi out there that's way smarter than this. We like, blown away at all by um, cinematography, by scenery. You know, I mean, there's some nice shots, um, you know, shadows on actors' faces, especially yeah. at the beginning when you see Oscar Isaac. There's yeah. a scene in this Oscar cool Isaac, room. in the beginning, was, like, the best actor I've ever seen when he first comes home. I don't know why, but he was blowing me away. Really? Because I mean, something he's, about him. He doesn't have to... He, he needs to not emote. And he's yeah. playing this very cold, almost like PTSD. You're kind of wondering... What What's going, going on, on here? Yeah, it was yeah, very amnesia, interesting. You know, What's his deal? And that was kind of the interesting mystery of it was, was with him. Uh, but I knew. As soon as it happened, I'm like, oh, okay. He's really yeah. a plant. Not a plant well, person, but he's really... Sure. I thought he was going to be infected right like the them. episode of X-Files. He was going to yeah. have the fungus or you, parasite. You know him. something's wrong, and he starts bleeding out of his mouth, and his organs are failing and everything. And The yeah. uh, FBI, the government secret black op shit right. was, they abscond cool. from the with the ambulance yeah that was cool when they all had their vehicles and they're you know running that you know off the road and stuff but um, yeah it was pretty it was a nice little scene see like i was saying the yeah. action it's short and quick to yeah, the point some of it looks really bad i mean the scene when natalie portman is shooting that alligator is just Horrible. Yeah. There's her no face coil on the gun. Bro, it's... her face. I know you were you laughed in the theater. I heard you. I was like, she oh, man, this she is made bad. this like I'm a tough ass I'm a tough bitch face. Right. I just killed an alligator, a mutant alligator at that. Which is weird because she doesn't have to do that. She's been in yeah, great just... movies like Leon the Professional and V for Vendetta. She doesn't have to put on that. Either she face. wasn't she wasn't really trying hard or she just was trying way too hard to 
Yeah. Do something. Well, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I've this probably has. I mean, critics probably love this movie because it's it's girl power the movie for sure. It's all about the women, and uh, I didn't. Re- at first, I thought it was going to be like that, but I didn't really. They didn't really. That, that, go into it too much. It was just like four people in the woods. But they don't scientists. even feel like women. I, I, I'd be surprised if women were the main plot of the book because it just mm-hmm. it feels like these are like the script is. It feels like they're men. It doesn't feel like these are women. Like the way it's written. Like I'm like this doesn't seem the way like way women talk. Uh, you know, I, I guess so. I, I liked just, um. I like that it didn't dwell on the fact that they were women. Like, there wasn't any, like, girl power moments. Not besides the beginning. There was one or two. was like, oh, I'm a lesbian. I got a hit on her. I don't know if this is She was annoying in the beginning. Then after her turn. Yeah. But her turn only lasted about two minutes. She was eating. I liked that bear, how it could scream like like, her. had, like, no eyes. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. The CG, though, it was out of focus the whole time because the CG was Yeah, I wasn't sure, like, how... Like, I was like, is this part animatronic? Is this part, like, CGI, like, mix? Because sometimes when it was, like, opening its mouth, I was like, oh, this looks like real teeth in some sense. I think it was just all CG but shadows and, Hmm. you know, camera focus trickery. I mean, she does get her whole fucking face ripped off. The fucking which bear. Looked awesome. I love the bear <laughs> that was lured. Cool. It was cool, but the bear fucking lured these bitches by sounding like right. their friend, well, their colleague who got fucking mauled earlier. Yeah, I got a throat ripped. And then it's walking around the room. It, the girls, here's why it reminded me of the thing. The girls, the uh, one lesbian one, she ties, she gets distrustful, which actually pays off because it turns out Natalie Portman was fucking her. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Not fucking her literally, fucking her metaphorically. Yeah, she says you're not being truthful with us. And yeah. she was. She was right. She and was. we, it was a good. That was a nice misdirection, right? They're just, yeah, towards the end, that pays off that they were right. You know that they're, they're losing themselves. See, you like something about it. Well, I didn't go. say I really liked that. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> Backtracking, motherfucker. <laughs> What were we just getting into? Oh, yeah, the, uh, it reminded me of the thing because it was just like the scene where... They're testing their blood. They're testing the blood, they're tied down, and then mm. one of them turns, and then they yeah. can't get loose, like... Yeah, you're right. You're right. There is more thing, um, uh... Parallels. Than I, than I noticed. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, did not think of that when I was watching it, but I'm looking back, yeah, you're right. There's well, definitely something. The uh, girls are sitting. Similarities. She ties them up because yeah. she flips out. She's like, somebody's fucked up. Somebody's lying here. So she ties them up, talking to them. She hears, help, help, but better. The right. death screams, yeah. you know? So she, she goes outside down, and then right. hears, <laughs> and then a fucking eyeless bear. Yeah. With like missing uh, flesh pieces around its yeah, mouth. Basically, just has like a skull. I yeah. yeah. I wish it was real, real mm. animatronics. See, that's why I'm really pumped to see Dark Crystal tomorrow, gang. <laughs> no CG of any kind. Yeah. Just right. uh, matte paintings and fucking puppets. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Although there is quite a few number of scenes where they show a. Instead of a puppet running, they just use a young boy, and it's so it's <laughs> right. plain as day. And it's going to be even plainer tomorrow on the yeah. big screen. I haven't seen it in years. I'm looking forward to it. Um, anything else really stick out for you about this one? Um, I mean, I didn't mind the acting. Janet, Janet uh, Lee, you said her Jason, name. Was? Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Jason, Jason Lee. Lee. I can't remember. I can't believe I forgot her name. She was okay. I was really annoyed by her for the most part. <laughs> yeah. I was like this. I, you know, she's great, she, hateful, hey, but yeah. I just, I, man, I, I didn't, the There's, acting did not She work was for interesting me. to me. Her character was interesting uh, to me. Really, when she's going on all of these exposition dumps with her and talking. Nah, and that Natalie was, Portman, that can get a little, lecturing. that can get a little, it's awful. a little, little jarring is when that happens. Yeah. They fucking. I, I, I hated the dialogue. I just straight up fucking hated all of the dialogue in this I, movie. I didn't hate it. It definitely it didn't pop for me though. It, it definitely don't think it's great or good. Yeah. Didn't hate it. Yeah, I mean, it, like I say, I don't think it's you know I can't say it's a bad movie because you know I mean I just I just didn't like it. I, that's that's it. You know I mean I I mean like you, you could say the CG is bad and in, in, in quite a few places. Like, I don't think the acting was good, but. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, Natalie Portman's okay. She's serviceable. I don't think she's giving out, like, a really great performance. 
you know. Mm. And, and the other girls in the group, I just couldn't give a fuck about any of them. I don't sympathize with anybody in this movie. Yeah. I, don't, I just do not sympathize the, with any um, characters. The lesbian girl, she was annoying they're for most away. of the film. They're not, they're not well written. Like, yeah. everything you learn about those characters is a scene where Natalie yeah. Portman is, a, is in a fucking canoe. And this girl is preaching to her saying, oh, she's, she's a, a drug, drug addict. addict. <laughs> you know, she's got marks on her arms and she's all this. Got I'm scars. like, this is fucking lazy writing. Yeah. That's lazy fucking writing. You know, and <laughs> I just, I hate fucking exposition in a lot of films. The Sometimes you need it, but this is fucking annoying. Yeah. The, uh, the one girl, the physicist, she, um, her role was the smart girl. It was about it. Tessa Thompson, yeah. Tessa Thompson. She has, like, no character development. What else was she been about in? Her. She was in Creed, um, okay. and she was, uh, in, uh, Thor Ragnarok recently, so. She's, um... She kind better of a in big those? name. She's a big name. <laughs> She's starting to be a big name now. She the lead in those last Not, two pictures. No, I mean, well, she was you know the lead, in, the co lead in uh, Creed. You know, she plays the main girlfriend. Know, yeah, the girlfriend or whatever. But um, you know, she's kind of the up and comer, but. I don't think she's good in this movie. Like, I just... She's trying to do this kind of, like, almost Asperger-y, shy girl when you first yeah. meet her. And I was like... And it totally fades this? away when they get into yeah, the shimmer. It, yeah, then it's totally You gone. could understand that, though. They feel like they're in a suicidal situation, I guess. Yeah. But nobody else changes, really. Yeah, I just... I don't... Well, it makes sense for Natalie Portman because she's, like, a fucking plant person. There's yeah. no real growth. The rest um, of them, I feel like, um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you're starting to talk me out of this. Um, <laughs> why don't you, um, why don't you give me your rating? Uh, give me your well, rating. Well, then I'll flow to you. <laughs> no, I got, I got mine. So All you right. got it. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I really didn't like this movie. Um, I'm not going to give it a super low rating because I, I mean, it's not a two, it's not a three, it's not, you know, there's, there aren't all these extreme technical problems. I mean, I, I think you got to call out the director for the bad acting because that's your job as a director. You know, you've got to look at your actor because you got to make sure you get the <laughs> right takes. Yeah. Um, so I mean, on your scale five is average, right? Yeah. And four was below average. Yeah. So I'd give it a five. I'd give it an average. Um, I, I didn't like this movie. I don't. I don't want to ever see this movie again. I'm never going to revisit it. Uh, I think it's such a just huge fucking swing and a miss for uh, Alex Garland. I love him as a director and a screenwriter. And this is just wow. This did not work for me at all. Shallow. Is that what you'd say? I said fake deep. <laughs> it's fake deep. It's it's acting like it's a smart film to me, and I don't think it's that smart. So. See, that's the thing. I can't cast judgment on it until I really um, dive into it. I'm really tired, and <laughs> I may or may not have ingested some, some sort of some sort of pharmaceutical. <laughs> um, uh, the atmosphere, though, I really yeah. liked. I like. It was bright. The only thing is, though, the they atmosphere. only sh they were walking around when it was They're bright. Walking in the same fucking jungle area again and again. And I like the 2001 music. And I want to ask you about the canoe scene. Did you actually the think that, <laughs> the canoe scenes? Uh, did you actually think they were in the water? Because it seemed like they were completely still when they were like using the paddle, and it was there like was, a green screen background. There was close the close ups of them. I think they weren't moving. Definitely yeah, because not. you see them like rowing there was, the oars, and I'm like, this yeah. does not look real at yeah. all. This is not how you row a boat. <laughs> there was the one, they definitely was at least some point where they were rowing, because weren't yeah, there any establishing shots. shots? Yeah, there's some establishing shots, but when you get that huge fucking exposition dump, yeah. that gigantic exposition dump, like the whole first half of this movie is just fucking exposition dump. Uh, that looks like just sitting on a green screen. They might have even went back and reshot, like, oh, we need to tell people about, you know, these characters and no. who they are, because you don't know who they because are. Because we don't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Atmosphere, music, um... <laughs> Atmosphere, music. Yeah. Atmosphere is so hard to define, it's just sort I, of the small details that I, sort of I, I, bring out this emotion. I hated that fucking guy in the interrogation room, too. 
Yeah, he was super up. stupid and annoying. The same fucking guy. From, Some fuck the New Zealand guy. No, the guy from Doctor Strange. He's he's like Chinese. He's awful. The doctor, the the librarian who listened to Beyonce. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Beyonce. Of course. He's like, oh, your name is. Let's just like Beyonce or Eminem or something. And then like oh, the next montage. God. Oh. I just yeah. I was gonna sing a Beyonce song. I'm so tired. I couldn't think of one. We're not. You and know what time we saw this? Love, love. We saw this at six twenty. But I am. I'm ready to go. You're to shot. Sleep. You're shot, man. I um messed up yeah. in the brain mm. and mind. So what's your rating? I give this a six. Wow. Ugh. I'd like to mm. see it again. I'm surprised. Um, mm. just so I could, you know, maybe mm. just give it another chance. Uh. Yeah. The set design wasn't great. It just... Yeah. I thought it was going to be... Going in, I thought game night, I thought it was going to be a dark comedy. Going into this, I thought it'd be like a... um, A really deep, really... um, yeah. Atmospheric movie. Like... Yeah. It's just we'd be walking much, around right? at night. It'd be like... Yeah. Imagine if they shot it like it was the Upside Down. Right. Like it was dark all the time. There's fucking this ash There's in the really air. There's really only one scene at night, and that's when that first girl gets the taken. Or which, the, I thought it was a werewolf at first. I was yeah. gonna. I almost said out loud, lycanthropy. Right. And it's so awkward when they like she's Natalie Portman's trying to put on these like night vision goggles, and then they they got they're all holding their guns so awkwardly, yeah. which which makes sense because they're scientists, but. You would think they would have trained Natalie, them at yeah. some point to use these weapons? Because they all said they'd been at this compound for, for like months. months and years. The shimmer yeah. had been growing for like two years, but I guess nobody knew about it. Or did people yeah, actually it was, know about it? No, it, it, supposedly it, it went over some pond and they said there was a chemical spill. Yeah. So that, okay. that saved them some time. That's what the psychiatrist said. But it's, it's been like years, right? Well, I mean... Obviously, um, a year Oscar from Isaac, Oscar Isaac, gone. so, so that's, that's at least, at least one a year. Years. Yeah, yeah, a couple years. Yeah, it's uh, comet from the sky hits a lighthouse. 